the Castlegar Handicap Chase is next up as a two mile and six furlong event. Two miles and three quarters. And it's a 0 to 120 again. And at the top we've got Her World for David Hooley. Grand Duet Anthem for David Robertson was the winner last time. Ellie's Politan, David Robertson again. Dance of the Animals, Joshua Sutherland, Pizza Hut, Matt Cooper, St. Hernando for Darren Thompson. Look at that, three falls on the trot. One of Darren Thompson, also Wayward Jester for Leon Van Rensburg, Cacharel, Martin Leland was the winner last time out. Dying of the Day, Patrick Hogan, Velvet Diamond, Graham Clutterbrook, and Roller Six for Craig Beckwith. Field of 11. Ready to go. Quite impatiently, the rain has gone away. Which is a bit of a rarity. I think we're going around the track again. No, we're not. Here we go. And on, here we go. Dance of the Animals and Casherelle are the two. I'm going to lead us into the first of the 14 fences that we've got to negotiate in this one. The grey is Pizza Hut. Again, just one grey in the field. Matt Cooper will be hoping it can do what the one grey in the field did in the last race and win. And it's Casherelle who's going to lead them past the post. And the long run to the first. The Great Pizza at second, St. Hernando in third. Darren Thompson will watch you to see how that one jumps. It jumped that one okay. And one was a bit slow was Velvet Diamond at the back. But Cacherel has now an undisputed lead of about four lengths to Pizza Hut in second. Roller Six is in third. Then St. Hernando, Granduet Anthem is after that. Ellie's Politan in the same colours is also close up. So they get to the second. And the Mistakey there was her world. Oh, David Hooley didn't jump that one all that well. It's Cashier in front still. St. Hernando second. And the great Pizza Hut third as they get over the third. And there's a fall of it. It's Wayward Jester. So Leon's Wayward Jester has gone. It's a bit of a surprise. So they get to the fourth. And there's another one down there, it's Velvet Diamond has gone this time, so Graham Clutterbox, Velvet Diamond has gone and Casherell nearly went as well, went in the lead, so a bit of mayhem down that part of the track, the leader, Casherell, was right down on her nose and did well to recover, he's now back in the lead again, but the chasing pack are all pretty close. Over the sixth they go. Very short run to the seventh. All over that one nicely. With Cashier in front. Regain that five length lead again now. Pete's Hut is second. St. Hernando jumping okay today is third. Then Dance of the Animals is fourth. Roller six is next. And then the top white her world come round the outside. The David Robertson pair have dropped to the back. Although Ellie's Politan is now making a bit of a forward move on the wide outside. But it's Cashier who's continuing to lead coming back up the home stroke for the second of three times this long run for the next fence which you can see as they go out of the straight Cacherel leads into it from St. Hernando has now just poked his head into second and I wouldn't have made a mistake there was the great pizza hut and that's seen that one shuffle down the path. Well, it's Cashier in front. Roller Six has now moved through into second. Then St. Hernando. They're all coming a bit wide, with the exception of the leader. And Her World is in fourth. Ellie Politan is in fifth. Then Granduet Anthem. Pizza Hut recovering from that mistake. Dance of the Animals has dropped back a little bit. And Dying of the Day is the back marker. They're coming down to the Tenth of the fourteen, and Casherell takes that one nicely in front. Over it in second was Grandoid Anthem. Ellie's Politan is third. Roller six is fourth. Her world on the outside five. 
in St. Hernando, Pizza Hut. One's making ground is dying of the day. Dance of the animals is struggling as they get over that ditch, which they all got over okay, and they've only got three more to take. Then now and over that one, Casherell landed him a lead again with two to jump from Roller Six in second. Grand away down through his third. St. Hernando looks like he's on a going day. Is he going to be one of those horses that wins or falls? Pizza Hut is now getting back into it again as well as they swim towards home. They've got two more fences to take, four furlongs to race. another turn to take yet before they get into the straight. And it's Casherell who's still four or five clear and looks to be going well in the lead from Pizza Hut in second. St. Hernando, Roller Six is after that. And they over the second last and Casherell is five or six clear of Grandouet Anthem. Over the final fence they go and Casherell is well clear of Grandouet Anthem in second. There's two and a half furlong running though and Casherell is well clear but they're beginning to close. Casherell, five or six clear from Grandouet Anthem in second. Roller Six is in third. Then comes Dine of the Day and St. Hernando racing down towards the final furlong and a half and Casherell being kept up to his work by the jockey. He's still five clear. Grandouet Anthem is getting closer. So he's Dine of the Day. St. Hernando is back in fourth. Casherell comes towards the final half furlong. He's keeping up in the lead and it doesn't look like they're going to get to this Casherell and racing up towards nine is two on a trot for Casherell. Casherell takes the pillar to post win from Grandouet Anthem second. Dine of the Day third. Then St. Hernando and her world at Eddie's Bulletin was next. Roller six pizza hut was last. Don't feel the animals managed to get rid of the pilot at the last. Well, Casherell looked like she was going to stop at one point, but didn't, and took that pretty convincingly. I don't think we'll be seeing her in the North 120 again. Maybe got in a little bit light today after winning last week. But Casherell takes it for Martin Lee. Grand away down from a second for David Robertson. Die another day for Padre Hogan was third and St. Hernando or Darren Thompson got round today in very fourth with her world David Hooley in fifth.